Hi, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Maths. Now we're going to move on from this first set of equations that we um, had on a previous video where we were able to solve these three equations and get down to a solution. In fact, this is a unique solution. And when we're able to get down to this final point here where we've got um, this happening, we can solve them on the graphics calculator. Um, what we say is these um, equations are consistent and we have a unique solution. So I'm going to hop over to um, a website called uh, GeoGebra 3D Calculator. Now you can um, look this up for yourself and have a play around with putting the equations into um, GeoGebra here and it will graph them for you and show you what they look like. So when you have an equation with three variables, it creates a plane. So each of these equations here you can see they're color coded they make a plane over here on our um, emulator now the fact that we had a consistent unique solution means that we have one point where all three of those planes meet so in the picture here you can see that quite easily as you move around you can see there's just that one place just right there that is on all three planes simultaneously. And that's the coordinates that we just worked out um, over here of three minus one and uh, four. So we have this particular situation where we have a consistent, unique solution. Now we're gonna have a look at some other equations um, and planes because obviously they might not always cross at one point. You'll have other situations that you need to be able to interpret. So here is another example. Now, if you actually go and try and put these into a graphics calculator, you will get a math error because there isn't just one point where all three of these planes meet. In fact, if you look carefully, you can see they all meet along this line here. So every single one of those planes goes through that line, um, kind of like the spine of a book and all the leaves are of your book are, are folding out from there. So we have all of... Um, our planes go through that line right there and as we move it around you can see how they're all going through this line that we're looking straight down on now right through this point here um, so what that means is we have equations that are consistent they do cross each other they do all meet um, but they're not unique there isn't a unique solution um, we actually have infinitely many solutions. Any point on this line where the, all of these planes meet would satisfy all three of these equations. So we have um, consistent but not unique. Then of course we might have situations where we don't have solutions at all and we don't get all three planes crossing um, together. And here's an example of one type of that. We've got three planes and if you look for um, a point of intersection, we don't have anywhere where all three planes are crossing. In fact, we kind of get this sort of tent shape in between them just here, where we have a gap between all three of them. That's one type of way of um, getting this particular solution where we, we, well, we don't have a solution to these three equations. These equations are called inconsistent. There's nowhere at all um, where we can be on all three planes at once. Now there's three ways this can happen. So this is the first way where we get this sort of like tent thing going on in between. Um, we could also have a situation where we have para parallel planes. Um, so then of course, if if we've, you've got two, two of the planes that are parallel, then there'll never be any solutions because you'll never have anywhere where those two planes are cross, even if the other one crosses through them. And then if all three planes are parallel, of course you will have nowhere at all where any of the planes cross. So here's an example of three parallel planes, which you can see as I move through those. Um, they will never ever touch. You'll, you won't get any solutions to this system of equations. So these are called inconsistent. Then there's another way, um, the, other, the last type that I'll show you, which I just talked about previous to this, was if two of them are parallel, but the other one goes through. So something like this, we've got two parallel planes there. Um, but the green one cuts through both of them. This is still called inconsistent because um, we don't have anywhere where we can be on all three planes at once because of those two being parallel, the pink and the blue. So to recap, we can either have um, consistent equations where we can get a unique solution 
or not unique solutions or inconsistent where we don't get solutions and they are either all three are parallel all two uh, or two of the planes are parallel or the planes aren't parallel but there's no point simultaneously on all three planes